Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Mary Berry dishcloth. This is a fun and festive dishcloth that you can make for the holiday season, and really any season if you switch the colors. And it makes a great gift too if you make up a set where you can just add a little festivity to your kitchen. For this project, you'll need some cotton dishcloth yarn. This is a great way to use up some leftovers that you may have. I chose uh, classic Christmas colors, red, green, and white. This is the uh, Lily sugar and cream, and the red and green are the peaches and cream, but feel free to use any cotton dishcloth yarn that you like. You'll also need a five millimeter H crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle for doing your finish work. So let's get started. The finished dishcloth measures eight inches across. We're going to begin with the center part of our dishcloth, the white section. So let's grab our white yarn. We can put the red and green aside for a moment. And we're going to begin with a starting chain of four. So let's get a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, take the yarn and wrap it around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, and bring up the loop, and then just tighten. So again, we're making a starting chain of four. To make a chain, wrap yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. Then in the chain farthest from the hook, we're going to work a slip knot. You know what, I'm gonna put this behind us so we can see, because we're working white on white here. So in the chain farthest from our hook, we're going to work a slip stitch to create our ring. So insert the hook into the chain, bring up a loop, then bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. Then you can kind of open up the ring a little bit. Next, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Then we're going to work 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the ring. Bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So you're gonna do that 11 times. So two, three, four, and I'm gonna continue and we'll rejoin in just a moment. So we're gonna work a total of 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. And our final double crochet into the center of the ring. Now I wanted to mention when we did this chain three at the beginning of a round, that counts as one of the double crochets. So you're actually gonna have 12 wheel spokes, if you will. And this little tail I've held along the edge as I've worked my stitches and that weaves the end in as you go along and that'll save you a step at the end. So what you're gonna do to close the round is work a slip stitch and then just close the round like that. And you can go ahead and tighten this little tail just like that. Now if we go back to our circle the next color on our circle is red. So we're gonna move on to round two. You can take your scissors. Now, if you wanna keep going in the same color, that's fine. If you wanna make yours monochromatic or just stay with the same color for a few rounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten off. But we're gonna to switch to red. So let's grab our red yarn. And there are lots of ways to join yarn. I just like to cut mine and tie it right on. If you have a preferred method of joining yarn, feel free to do that. So I just put my hook into one of these spaces here. I'm just gonna pull the new yarn through and just go ahead and tie it right on. And again, I'm gonna hold my two edges, I'm sorry, my two tails along the edges here and we'll weave the ends in as we go along. So you're gonna have several ends because of all the color changes that we'll be doing. Okay, so we now we have our new yarn tied on. 
just take these two tails and this other tail we can trim off to get it out of the way. So take your two tails and just hold them along the edge. So next we're going to go ahead and chain three. So reach in with your hook, bring up the yarn. Okay, so to start round two, we've tied on our new yarn. We're gonna reach in with our hook, bring up a loop, and then chain three. One, two, three. This is gonna count as one of the double crochets. Then we're going to work into the same space. We're going to work a double crochet, just like that. And then we're going to work uh, two double crochets into the next space. Again, we're working into these spaces, not the stitches. So again, we're still holding our tails along the edge and just work two double crochets into the next space. Just like that. The next space, two double crochets. We're gonna be doing this all the way around. Two double crochets in each space. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Two double crochets in each space and then we'll rejoin in just a moment. So we're coming up, up to the end of the round here. Again, we just work two double crochets in each space all the way around. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to close the round, similarly to the round before this one. So round two is complete. Round three is worked in white. So we're going to break our yarn Go ahead and fasten that off. And grab our white yarn here. And again, we're just going to do the same thing. Just tie the new color right on. So you can just reach in with your crochet hook, add the new yarn, tie it right on. Just like that, okay? So now you can reach in with your crochet hook. And we're gonna hold those um, tails along the edge like we did before. Okay, so reach in with your crochet hook. Bring up a loop and chain three. One, two, and three. And then into this first space you come to, right here, we're going to work a double crochet, then a chain one. Just like that, okay? Next space, double crochet, chain one. We're gonna be doing this all the way around in between every single one of these double crochets from the previous round. Okay, so double crochet, get some more yarn here. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, all the way around just like that. So here's what it'll kind of look like, similar to our original one, okay? So we're just gonna keep doing that in each space, double crochet, chain one, all the way around, and we will rejoin at the end of this round. So we're coming up to the end of the round, and again, we did a double crochet, chain one, each space, all the way around our circle, okay? So next, we're going to Join again with a slip stitch to close the round. And our round is complete. So next we're going to work round four. You can break the yarn. We're going to tie our new color on, same way we have done, just like that. So let's get our green yarn. I really like the green round. It, it makes the whole thing pop and kind of come together. The colors really pop out. So we're just gonna add the green yarn to our round, just tie it right on. And I've been weaving in my ends all along, 
So I don't really have any ends right now except for the one I just tied off. So that really helps and saves you a ton of time at the end. So we have our green yarn tied on. For this round, we'll reach in, bring up the new color. We're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Then work a double crochet into the same space that you just tied your yarn onto. Just like that. Okay? So it'll look like that. Next, in the next space, we're going to work two double crochets. Let me get a bunch of yarn off here. So we're two double crochets into the next space. Again, we're working in the spaces, not the stitches. If you've ever made a granny square, it's very similar. You're just working these, these groupings into the spaces like this. Okay, so we're just gonna work two double crochets all the way around our circle in each space. I'm getting a little tangled with my ends. I'm still holding my ends along the edge here. I don't like to hold them on top. I like to kind of hold them behind a little bit so that it, it disguises them a little bit better. Okay, so we're just working two double crochets in each space all the way around. So I'm gonna continue working my round. And when we come up to the end of the round, we'll rejoin in just a moment. So we're coming up to the end of our round. We've just worked two double crochets in each space all the way around. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to close our round once again. So round four is complete. So let's go ahead and cut the yarn, fasten it off, and then our next color is gonna be white again. So let's grab our white yarn. We can put the green aside. And then just do the same thing. For this round, if you can see, we're going to be working in between these groups here. So we're gonna keep these two together and just work the white in between. So in between two of these, go ahead and tie your yarn on. We're not gonna go in between here, okay? So go ahead and tie the white on. Okay, and then you're going to reach in, bring up a loop with the new yarn, just like that. So go ahead and chain three, one, two, three. And then in the same space, that we've tied everything on, we're going to work two double crochets because this one counts as our first double crochet. So we're gonna work two double crochets right into that same space where we just tied everything on, just like that, okay? Then we're gonna go to the next space. We're not gonna go in between these double crochets. We're gonna sk skip over two of them and go into the next space and work three double crochets this time. So one, two, and three. Again, I'm holding my tails along the edge to get them woven in as I go along. So it's starting to look like our other one, okay? So just keep doing this all the way around. Work three double crochets in each space between the groups of two. Okay, so one, let me back up a little, there we go. Two, and three. Okay, so just keep doing this all the way around. Three double crochets in between these groupings and then we'll rejoin towards the end of this round. We've arrived at the end of the round here. And again, we just worked three double crochets in between each of these groupings of two. So you just join with a slip stitch to close the round. Just like that. Break the yarn and fasten off. 
So our Mary Berry dishcloth is really shaping up nicely. It's grown in those last couple of rounds. And now we're ready for the red again. We're going to be putting a round of half double crochets to prepare to uh, set up for this edging. Now, some people prefer the edging. Some people just like a, a smooth edge round. It's totally up to you. So let's grab our red yarn. Okay, and then we're just going to tie our red right on. Same way we've been doing for all of the previous rounds. Let's tie it right on there. And again, we're gonna be working this round into the spaces as well, holding the edges while we work. Okay, so just reach in with your crochet hook, bring up a loop of the new color. You can slide this stuff over a little. Okay, then we're going to chain two. One, two, and then hop over to the next space. To work a half double crochet, you're gonna wrap the yarn around your hook, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around the hook, and bring it through all three loops on your hook. Let's do that one more time. Go into the next space. We're gonna be working one in between all of these double crochets. Okay, wrap yarn around hook, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops on your hook. Okay? So we're gonna continue this round. Just work a half double crochet in each space all the way around. Again, I'm holding these edges, I mean tails, okay? So I'm gonna continue around, and again, we'll rejoin at the end of this round. So it looks kind of like that to begin. So here we are at the end of our round. We're just going to join again with a slip stitch to close the round. Now we're going to continue with the edging in red. So we're not gonna cut and fasten off. So let's move on to the next and final round, our edging. We're going to begin our edging. And we're just gonna keep the same red again. And to work the edging, in the, we're gonna be working into the stitches, not the spaces. We've worked in the spaces for this whole dishcloth, except for this very last round, we'll be working into the stitches. Okay, so in the first stitch, you're going to work a slip stitch, insert your hook, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Next stitch, work a slip stitch again. Next stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then a single crochet all in that same stitch. To work a single crochet, insert your hook into the stitch. Bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops, just like that. Okay, so it'll look kind of like that. Next stitch, work a slip stitch. Next stitch, work a slip stitch. Next stitch, we'll do the same thing. Single crochet, chain three, single crochet. One, two, three, and a single crochet. Okay, so it kind of looks like our dishcloth. So we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around. Slip stitch, slip stitch, and then in the next stitch, single crochet, chain three, single crochet all in that same stitch okay let's do a few more of these points together and then we'll rejoin at the end of the round again okay so slip stitch slip stitch next stitch single crochet 
chain three. One, two, three, single crochet. Let's do one more sequence. Slip stitch, slip stitch, next stitch, single crochet, chain three. One, two, three, single crochet. Okay, so just keep doing that all the way around and we will rejoin at the end of this round. So I'm just finishing up the edge here. So when you're all finished, it will look like that. And then you can just work a slip stitch at the base of this first point that you did to finish off the round, just like that. Okay, so then just take your scissors and you can go ahead and fasten it off. Whenever I make cotton dishcloths, mine always get crumply in my hands. You might wanna just straighten yours out a little bit. Then all you need to do, because you wove all of the ends in as you went along, all you have to do now, you, you'll have one little tail left and that's it. So just thread your tapestry needle, flip your dishcloth over, and you, because this is red, just weave it into the red section so it won't show up. If you wove it into the white or the green section, it would really stick out. So just weave it into the red section only or whatever color you're using. So come in one direction, come back in the other direction, and then you can just take your scissors and snip the tail. So we are all finished with our Mary Berry dishcloth, and it looks just like our other one. Now we have a set, you can give this as a gift, and it also looks really pretty under a holiday candle. You could wrap them up with a, a pretty ribbon around them and give them as a gift. So that is how you crochet the Mary Berry dishcloth. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.